Let's see if this thing will fire up. Get some work done on her again. Right. Now we say we go for neutral would be a good idea. And the switch is opposite. And that should be run. And the throttle is here. Let's see if I can work the camera U and the throttle. Trying to figure out where the tires should go. <laughs> There we go. Well, I was trying to line the tire up. One of the two tires up to the truck that's in there. We're in. Let's get to wrenching. All right, some of the stuff that we need to address on this thing is going to be the fact that the gas tank is weeping and it's fiberglass, it's part of the body. So we're gonna look into that. We need to fix while we have fiberglass stuff out hard to see but there's a, a hole in the fender well it needs to be addressed the exhaust generates a lot of heat in the engine compartment so we are going to wrap the exhaust so that that is not um, adding to the heat that's in here uh, we want to get a blower in here to help purge the air that's the blower that's going to allow some fresh air to come in from underneath the seat goes through like the factory did and help purge the engine heat that is in there. We want to put a bilge pump in so if we go into the water, if it starts to take on some water, we just don't go under. <laughs> and the charging system. I kind of omitted some of this stuff on the last video for the sake of time, but one of the issues was I did not have the diode uh, in place. So I had it disconnected from the key switch because it was drawing power back. And you know, after I thought about it, I'm like, well, duh. A diode is a check valve. It allows electric to go one direction, but not the other. So it allow the alternator that have power go out and um, charge the battery and not have the battery go back and feed the coils and it clips the sine wave so the alternator is putting an ac wave out and say we'll call the top of it the, the dc part and this is the negative part of it or the plus and the negative of the sine wave we'll say you, you clip all the negative off of it and you'll use the top well that would be like a a, a unregulated dc voltage back charging the battery and with as uh, a couple of issues too so so that'll take care of it charging but the problem also is somebody had sent a link to the charging systems that are on these briggs engines and uh at max they put out about three amps which is not that great of an output so the fan the fan alone may draw that i'm not sure what the draw is on this i could probably look it up but this may be just equal to what the charging system alone is able to put out. But that's going to be on a key switch. We're going to be able to turn that on and off. And we're going to see how much we need that or not. And um, worst case scenario, we are going to make duct work from the engine fan drawing cool air in and then it will purge itself out and then we'll just need the fan for when we go first start it up if there's any gas fumes in here to eliminate that so because a, a boat is like a cup and the gas fumes can settle down to the bottom of it so on a regular boat when you fuel up you run a fan bilge fan that uh, changes the air out of there usually I think it's five minutes you're supposed to run them for before you fire it up so so if there's a spark or something it doesn't ignite the whole thing and it blows up on you so hopefully we can just use it in that aspect and not have to run it all the time so we'll worry about that when we get to it other thing is we got to put the master link in it still has a link that's just kind of tapped back together 
forgot to do that. The battery that is in there is a deep cycle, um, a deep cycle electric wheelchair battery. And I actually have two of those. So if I find that we are running the system down, I'll just put a second battery in with it that I have. And an electric wheelchair could pretty much run all day when it's running around. So I think we may be okay. Worst case scenario, when you're done at the end of the day, you may have to come home and uh, throw it on a, a trickle charger to let it charge back up. So enough talking, let's get some work done. That is the, uh, the exhaust wrap that's in those boxes, by the way. And let's see if we can get some of this stuff buttoned up and secured. So the first thing I think I want to address just because it is something that takes some time to cure is maybe we're going to mix up some fiberglass resin and we're going to take care of a couple of the boo-boos that are on it. One of them is it looks like I took a hit right here. You can probably poke your finger right through that. So I'm probably going to go a little um, roll lock wheel. We're going to go cuff up the outside of it. We're going to cuff up the inside of it. We'll tape off some section of it. Um, Maybe yeah, on the inside definitely we'll put some fiberglass on on the outside. I'm not sure We may just try to go and put some resin over the top of, of this side of it The gas tank we're gonna drain the tank and clean it. You can see how much It's uh, damp all the way around it from fuel I actually kind of wonder if that's the it's sweating and that's the fuel level Regardless, uh, I, I'm going to take this whole area, I'm going to try to cuff it up, and then we're just going to go over it with resin. We're going to just go brush a coat of resin on it and see if that'll help seal up any pores that are on. There's the other side of that that I was talking about. So we definitely want to kind of go beat that back, and we'll throw a fiberglass patch over that. And then the third spot is the hole. Come on. Is the hole. That's right there. So we'll get that muffler out of the way. Give us a little bit of access. To see if we can get that one dressed up too. Let's see if we can get the gas out of it. Open up the pit. Just look at that pour out of there. <laughs> Not exactly the. Uh... Yeah, that might take a little while. Got the gas out of it and um, blew it out. Then I went around the machine and I wiped it down with acetone. Where wherever we're going to do, be doing the repairs, hopefully that'll kind of evaporate or get rid of any waxes i don't know i doubt this thing has any wax on it but you know any kind of oily substance that will inhibit that from sticking so masked up let's go see if we can go cuff up this area right here and give it a little bit of tooth before we go to the inside see how that works for us You try controlling the speed. bumper sticker is gonna go so it's eat more possum right, so I'm gonna run around and do that to a bunch of it all over the place yeah, so I got both of those inside now kind of scratched up somewhat there then I ran the gas tank I cuffed up the gas tank by hand because you're just not able to get there with the tool very well Probably gonna hit that a little bit more but uh, as far as the tank we're just gonna go and try brushing resin over it see if that helps seal it and then I cuff I ground this one back about three inches around all the way around it too and then kind of prep that so before i go any further I, last time i went to go work with fiberglass resin and here's the can i have i opened it up and unfortunately the container decided to rupture 
and then there, there it is sitting on on the top of the can so I have two other tubes or let's say one other tube of resin but last time I was working on the trike and I was doing some fiberglass on work on that and I did it and it never cured so I am going to go try a little bit I don't know, maybe one of these plastic lids just this dirty one we'll throw a little bit of stuff in there mix it up and see if it kicks and cures before I uh, attempt to uh, have at it on the machine. I have a uh, fiberglass uh, matting there too. Let's go and give it a little bit. More than enough. That one's no good. Where's our, where's our one that works? This, we're going to use that for our stirrer too. It's going to flip up. <laughs> Watch it across the room. Alright, this is the one we got. Alright, so just go to some of that. And I'm not sure how long it takes to kick. But while that's setting up, I can go work on some other stuff, right? Let's see if that'll do anything for us. And if it doesn't, we'll go buy some fresh stuff. You agree? Alright, so I let that set up and it wasn't kicking and that was kind of what I was afraid of. So I went over and I put a couple more drops in it, gave it another stir and it decided to go to the store and go grab a fresh can. It's like 20 bucks. And then I came back and it did kick. So we're just going to have to go be maybe a little bit more zealous on the harder hardener that we put in it. And uh, we try to use that up and we still have a few can to uh, have for backup. So I got the wheel off the other side. I kind of prepped that area. I put some masking tape on one side of wherever there was damage so that we cannot have it ooze through. So we'll, we'll patch one side. This is my thought anyway. We'll patch one side, let it cure, peel, peel the tape off, and then we'll patch the other side and see how that works out for us. Uh, I'm a novice on this. And a paper plate is probably not the best recommended to go with, but you know what? We... I'm going to go with it. Don't mind that little turd that just went in there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Which one had some juice left in it? I'd rather caution on the little too much instead of the little not enough kind of deal. As we found out earlier. Because once it's on the machine sure is going to be hard to add to it then i made um two patches per what i figure what i'll do is we'll put a smaller one on first and then we'll put a larger one on over the top of that i'm gonna throw a little bit more hardener in there and just in case I know I overdid it, but I am also don't want to um, again have to. I really need to stop hitting you guys, don't I? Some of that, some of that. Let them get nice soaked in. Kick them to the side. Let's get the two larger ones. Get them prepped, and soaked, and we'll move over to the machine. The machine, and get started. Let's see. We should uh, wet that. That fill in that gap a little. Let's see if we can peel off a little one, one of the little ones. Shove that up inside there. Again, we, we're not exactly going for looks here. screwing with it too. Let's see if we can get a larger one out. And there's a larger one. Maybe better off 
smooth that one with our fingers. Up it a little bit. I really need to stop bumping you guys. You guys are just looking too close. You think leave it alone or screw with it or leave it alone? <laughs> Kind of answered my question right there, didn't it? Let's let that be. I'm gonna go jump up to the other one. I'm not gonna be able to get in there with the camera. I'm gonna have a hard time actually shutting you guys off. I'll show you the aftermath. I came back to look at this one after I did the others, and it's definitely running down and making a mess, but I am not that concerned about it. I would rather have it more solid. And then on the inside here, I uh, did the tank area, and then there's, and that's hard to see. How about this light on the subject? You see the back side of that one. So we'll let that all kind of cure up, and I figure each time after I'm done, I'm just going to go back and uh, glaze over the outside of the tank, and hopefully that will seal that tank uh, if I get enough coats on it. And that's what it's like on the ice outside. So I figure I could peel that off. Once it's cured, then we'll do the outside. We can come and get the inside of that one after we take the tape off. And again, keep keep resonating the, the tank when it's done. And I figure this is a perfect spot for that bumper sticker. All right, we'll fast forward. We have two patches on the inside, two patches on the outside. Um, <laughs> yeah, hit them. And then when, like after they were on there, I went back, I still had extra material left over. So I kind of brushed on more after that. And then I let it be for a while and it wasn't kicking. So I ended up having to go and hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer and a heat gun to help uh, bring them up the temp before they started making the change. And that finally did it. Uh, and then on the, I went one more time and mixed up another batch just to kind of brush over. And I went really heavy on the hardener. And then also hit it with heat. Just let it sit there and uh, you know, not overdo it, but bring it up to temp because the temperature is kind of what makes it cure. Just like Bondo, Bondo gets hot when it's when it kicks. Same idea. So you can kind of touch it. Uh, I just did the other coat know, about 15 minutes ago, but it's you know, at least it's not running. It likes to, the mosquitoes like it though. It's attracting them. So I think we're gonna let that kind of cure up for a while. The tank I hit like three or four times, so that's got a nice. Uh, coat on that and also let that get heated up. I think we should uh, omit ourselves from this area Let this thing do What it wants to do and we can get into other things Maybe we can kind of play with wiring or you know what we can do. I know what we can do in the vice. We'll go put the uh, The muffler and the pipe and clamp them in and we can wrap them. How's that? All right, I've never done this before so you and I we're gonna try it together. I think I could use. Hopefully, I don't use it all up. If I do, I just order some more. But I want to use this on the Jawa. Jawa. Where the uh, we could wrap the pipes in. That's where that bike kind of left off. All right. I, I would think that we would probably have to. Well, you know what? We are going to. I should actually grab some scissors too, huh? I gotta wanna get a wrap or two going. You know, we're gonna go from the other end. I just don't wanna build up too much material where I'm trying to bolt the flange down. Let's go start on this end. Probably would've been a good idea. I wonder if it would be a good idea. What if we were to put spray glue on the pipe? Just let it burn off? You think that's a dumb idea? I got about 50 50 answer. Let's see if we, as long as you get it to not spin, I guess we'll be fine. How much uh, overlap you think we should leave? I'm gonna go with <laughs> whatever that is. It looks like about a half inch. I wonder if that might be too much. Pull it right out of the vise. Yeah. 
burnt myself last time working on this. Wasn't too bad though. Left the blister on, didn't pop it. It was fine. It's nature's band aid. Yeah, I, I leaned on the. <laughs> and it was running. I was trying to find the grab the kill wire behind it. And right about with those singe marks, it's probably my skin. I decided to lean on it and grab the wire. And you know what? It was hot. Go figure. So I got some tape ready. I figure what we can do is we can tape it up just to hold it in place. I'm trying to wrap it as tight as I can. I wonder if you're supposed to wet this stuff too. Oh well. We're going about it like this first. What was I going to say? We're going to tape it and then we can figure out how to work those metal tie wraps. I haven't used them yet neither so I don't want to try conquering that. Uh oh, don't move. While I'm trying to hold everything in place, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. You don't have to cover everything 100% either. I think we should probably get it to right. Maybe double a couple of loops right there. Then cut it and tape it. <laughs> Gonna go whipping off, unraveling. Right. Another piece of that. We'll go on the inside so we have room for the. Bulgy, right? Right there is a little bulgy. A couple of spots. All right, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's figure out how to get one of those wrapped up on you know. Right, let's give this a. want it where the screws are not. Right. So how do we how do we get it tight enough? Are we we are not. Watch it doesn't back off me. Watch it. <laughs> it does cinch down on itself. Oh was it it didn't feel like it. I got a bunch. <laughs> now we know, right? It does hold it. I thought I was going to have to bend it back over on itself, but um, it locked itself right in. I'm going to go up over the tape a little. Let's do one. Yeah. I'm not really concerned about the, ta the tape. What am I doing? It's not like I'm being watched or anything, right? Let's try that again. That's the end of the road there. I guess. Try to grab it with pliers and maybe wedge it off of a screwdriver. Why don't we try that? This is where I try to work around you guys so you can see. And I have an excuse why I screw it up. There's probably another way to do this, and I just don't know how to, but for now. <laughs> Sorry. Watch your head. What does it feel like? I thought it might have been sliding back on me. Now it's gone. I 
That's there. We're all we're all occupying a small space here, okay? Yeah. You know that's a much easier way to do it. It's probably a tool that you're supposed to buy that you, you grab on the end of it and you, you grab it. I wonder where I got tie wrap now. I do that. It's got the metal cutter in it. Yeah, the regular metal tie wrap gun. So we are gonna want that. I don't think that doesn't feel all that tight to me though. I'm gonna move you guys out of the way. I'm gonna work on trying to get more tension on that. You can't get as tight as you can in a tie wrap, but you can get it decent. It's not like it's gonna undo itself, but it seems like it has a little bit of a, a drag back. Like whenever you let go of it, it backs off a little before it catches. So you're only able to pull it so tight. I'm doing this. Let's get the tape out of there. We'll put another one. There, one stuck past her. Yeah. We'll do another one. I don't know. I'm going to trim back some of this hair. And I'll put another one right here. Let's go try it this one. I might have to pull towards the camera. Oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> same. Point in the same direction. How about we move you to the side? And I know my fist is going to be in your way, but got to do what a man's got to do. That's about it right there. I don't know. I guess you should probably just tap them down with a hammer and cut them. We'll just cut them right here. And we'll, we'll kind of tap them down. The only thing is, you got to watch you reaching in there. You know, you don't. Tie wraps are bad enough. You can imagine how they're going to be when they they snag you. Gonna cut them with the whiz wheel. I wonder if can you get it. I wonder if you tuck it in right behind it, we can cut it really short. I don't know. It's gonna be 900 comments telling me how I'm supposed to end those. <laughs> well, let's do a test on that junk one. Let's see if it wants to undo itself. If you don't pull it back out. You can, it takes, like, do you see how much it moved before it bit right in? I don't know, are you supposed to? Tap it down when you're done, you know? I am way overthinking this. Let's just cut it with a little bend on it, see how we like it. And if not, we got more, like I said. You know that's gonna be sharp, huh? That's what we gotta get rid of all together. Like those are just razor blades waiting to get you. That's what I mean. I want to try to tuck it down in behind that that bump that's on there. If you guys can see that. That one's a little tall. That one's not bad. This one's a little tall. I'll go with that. Alright. A little uh man 
Ryan's keeping. All right, it's gonna just keep on doing itself. <laughs> Leave it alone. We're gonna do the other side, and uh, we'll move on to the muffler. Hopefully, there's enough on this roll to do the muffler. You gonna go down, up, or up, down? The other thing is too, I was thinking, should I get like the oily stuff off of here or should I leave it alone and it maybe it will help for rust? Those are my thoughts. All right, so it's gonna be in the machine. This is gonna be where the two pipes meet. So if I wrap it from up here, there will be no clamps that you see and this will be in further. This will be the pretty end, pretty end. So we can get it going. Probably just wrap a piece of tape right on it, it doesn't matter, it'll just burn right off. So it locks down and tightens up. And something like that. Because this room to clamp it here. Get the clamp on here. And about this much of it goes through the back firewall to probably right where the lump is right there. Actually, that's where the set screw was. So that's the set screw part of it. Yeah, so there's only about that much. About that much. <laughs> it's not like that. Uh, can we put it back in? Is there anything that we should not do? Ah, nice. Do I feel like throwing a, a shot of black over that? I'm just going to leave it. That's fine. I don't want to inhibit its curing either, you know. So yeah, we should be able to get, right, we're going to do a bilge pump that's going to be over here and a blower. I don't see either one of those needing to be where the exhaust goes, do you? I don't like all that big of a deal to take it back out again. Yeah, so let me uh, throw that back in and uh, take a peeky. Alright, want to see? Want to see? Want to see? There you go. Looks pretty snazzy, huh? Hopefully that'll keep a lot of the heat out of here too, which is what we're hoping for. Keep me from burning my damn hand. It's fine. Just just now starting to peel off the, uh, the lift of it. I'd like to start it up, but I want to give the gas tank as long as possible to cure without putting fuel in it. You know what I mean? I want to give it its best fighting chance for not leaking. So I don't want to uh, mess with that. Not that it's going to sound any different anyway. We just want to run it and see what it does over temperature, you know. Well, I got stuff to do for the next couple of days. And today it's over. <laughs> so I think it's going to be a short one, guys. I know everybody wants to see you get it in the water. But I got work to do still. And I don't want to rush it just so that we can get to the... The money shot you know 
I'm gonna take my time and enjoy the journey because sometimes the journey is more <laughs> more interesting than the ending. Especially, well, this thing so might be entertaining. It's supposed to be able to float on the water line, even if it gets totally swamped, the air in the tires, the volume of the tires is supposed to hold it. It won't go down like a sub, it'll just kind of be swamped, you know. All right, guys, well, we're getting there. Should float almost. The trailer hitch has to go back on, and that's going to get sealed up by its own. And I'm going to make a, a plate for the, a block off plate for the inside, so all this will get sealed when that is done. I think our other holes are should be fairly well. I didn't see anything else on it. It looked fairly decent. Once we put water in it. I should grab rear axle seals. I have not done that yet. We may just go for it and see if the pump keeps up. Got a scar right there. Doesn't feel like it's through or anything. That could have that could have used a little bit of gel coat. That could have used a little bit of gel coat. We got a new new can, so because we can't mix up more. I think there's a spot up here too, yeah. It's like somebody already tried. They filled it with like Bondo. All right, guys. So I'm gonna ramble. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me and uh, doing some wrenching in the garage and uh, working on some weird projects. So until the next one, I will see you guys later. How about we hit some thousand grit? I'm supposed to soak the paper ahead of time, but I'm not. Remember it's sitting on the jack over there. Got a tire off. I don't think that seam's gonna come out to you. I think. No, huh? This is probably about the worst part of it. I think what it is is the orange. I wonder if it was painted. No. Because it they call it red. It looks orange to me. It should look orange to you guys too. I thought the red was starting to pop through. I think it'll come back just fine. I think once we run it through the grits, will, uh, we run it up to the buffer point. That should be just fine. Oh yeah. All right, I had to come back and hit it with 2000 grit and all the white haziness will come out. You can kind of see where I did in this area. And where I didn't. It's going to look just nice. Hit it with a buffer, compound, some wax. Can you guess what we're doing on the next video?